a little dusty. It's kind of awkward. Okay. This is uh, an interesting video. Hello. Welcome in. <laughs> so, there has been a huge development. You are not even ready. I'll just give a quick idea of what's happening and then I will explain as I actually do it. So, first off, this uh, video is going to be about designing a character. It'll, it'll be a little insight into the process. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't know if how many of you know this, but I have written technically um, a no novel. It feels so weird to call it a novel, but I don't really know what else to call it. Um, a book, I guess. I, I wrote something. It's 106 pages, I think, and I've been working on it for the past four or five years. I mean, I had kind of the idea for, like, longer, but I think I've only written it for the past four almost five years now. So it's been a while. It's the thing that Wolf and Michael are from, my OCs. I did a, an anim, a, animatic. Yeah, I did an animatic of them, which I'm, I can maybe link up here uh, if you haven't seen it. But, the, so I finished it. I wrote it. Um, but I'm adding a new character, and I'm like, I'm doing a complete story overhaul. It's kind of insane. But I'm so pleased with it. So I will talk about it as I draw. Uh, I can kind of explain it to you, um, and we're just gonna dr design a new main character, but let's just jump into it. Okay, so, general concept for this woman. She's gonna be not that interesting, like I said, but I just kind of want to get some ideas down and maybe explain the story a just a touch, just a touch. But first off, I just want to get some ideas down and maybe... If she has a final, just kind of sketch her a little bit. Yes, I hold my pencil like this. Don't get mad at me. I, I've just been holding my pencil like this for forever. Like, like this instead of like, I don't know how people do it. Like this. Like this. When I posted TikToks back in the day, that was like a thing that people were interested in. Anyway, so this woman. <laughs> I don't really know what I want her to look like. She's really honestly just gonna be kind of a kind of basic because the I think I think it would be good for her to not be like I think it'd be good for her to be very cookie cutter I guess um, for lack of a better term because like she's literally I just like five minutes ago decided that she would be part of the story so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild ride hmm sorry I'm <laughs> I'm trying I gotta I gotta like kind of roughly get her get the ideas that I want out first. But we're just gonna start with her face. That is not, no. No thank you. No thank you. Also, this is a scented little, um, if you can see. It's a little scented eraser. It doesn't really smell um, anymore, but it has this little hedgehog on it and it's so cute. I love it so much. But yeah, very cute. Anyway, <laughs> so, I think for her, well, I guess it'd be kind of weird for her to be blonde too, right? Because Ashley's blonde. Sorry, if you don't know my OCs, you must be so confused right now. I will explain, I promise. I just want to get a uh, kind of an idea. I want her to be very like cookie cutter, you know? And I, I just feel like she would be blonde. I just feel like she'd be blonde, but I don't know. I don't, I, I haven't decided yet. That's That's what this is all for. But I definitely, I do see her as having, like, a bob or, like, shoulder-length hair, shorter hair. But I maybe I'll test out some some hairstyles and see how I feel. But lore-wise, so it began. <laughs> a quick overview of my, like, OCs, um, just, just to set the stage, is my main character for this, uh, Wolfgang. I call him Wolf. That's his. That's his name. Um, he, he's the main character. It takes place in Brooklyn. Um, it originally took place in Manhattan, but he. Oh God, <laughs> that was a little wonky. He um, lived in Germany, and then moved to the U.S. to New York. And he is kind of anxious, kind of depressed. He's he's got some he's got some issues. His 
best friend is Michael. Love of my life. I love him so much. He's like, not to play favorites, but he may be my favorite. He, I don't know, he's he's just a, a fun-loving guy. He, he loves music, he loves movies and stuff, very into the media. I don't know why I said the media, that's kind of weird. But yeah, he, he's, he's just very happy-go-lucky, he's very friendly. Ray of sunshine, basically. Wow, I can't draw her smiling correctly, can I? But they're, they're friends, and they met in New York. And other main characters, you got Ricky, he owns a bar, and he, Wolf goes to his bar a lot to like, mainly to talk to him, also kind of to drink even though he's underage, and smoke even though he's underage. He, he, he does some bad deeds sometimes. But he goes to Ricky's, and Ricky like, Ricky's, I kind of see Ricky as like an uncle to Wolf. He kind of like, sort of like, um, um, Miles and, um, Uncle Aaron. Miles Morales. That's his <laughs> took me a second. They it kind of gives me a little bit of that dynamic. I mean, not in the same way, but that sort of like close and can kind of go when you need to vent or when you need to have someone there. Um, kind of feel. So that's what Ricky is to Wolf, and that that's basically his his main role in the story. Uh, and there's also Jim, who's the bartender at the bar, um, who this is not like important to canon, but technically, technically, uh, Ricky and Jim are dating. Not canonically, but like, they are. Uh, they own a gay bar. I don't know if I mentioned it was a gay bar. Um, and Wolf goes there all the time, mainly to hang out with Ricky, like I said, and Jim is there, but he, he, he has like an important moment, but he's not really like that important to the story overall. Oh, and there's Ashley. <sighs> Forgot about Ashley. Ashley is the problem. Ashley is the conflict. Ashley uh, is like my least favorite person ever. Mm. Maybe I'll make this a full body. Maybe this will be like the final right here. Um, so anyway, that's the bare bones. There's some other characters, but they're not really important. But, oh, and I guess there's Sylvia, but like she's mentioned in a later. She's not like an active part of the story. Um, so, so, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to draw women. I, it's been a hot minute since I've drawn women. I used to draw women, like, all the time, and then I just kind of, like, didn't. And I don't know how to draw women anymore. Anyway, um, so, the reason this girl is important. So, I'm thinking, as of right now, I may change it, I have no idea. But as of right now, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna name her Jennifer, or Jen. Um... If that changes, then it changes, but as of right now, when I'm recording this, that's what I'm gonna call her. Um, just so you know, you know who I'm talking about. But this girl, um, I recently came up with the concept for, and by recently, I mean like five minutes ago. I guess, <laughs> I guess I should start with how the story was, and then what I plan to change. So, like I said, I wrote the story already. I, like, I, I... I did the whole, this is a little too, not the vibe I want, um, I wrote the whole thing already, and it took me forever, but I, I, what, like, I finished, like, last year, I believe, is when I, like, finished it, I'm gonna change this a little bit so she's a little more upright, anyway, so I finished writing it, like, a ye last year, maybe, more or less, and I wasn't pleased with it, like, I, w I couldn't pin down a specific thing, it just felt kind of like, it felt kind of like a fan fiction, I don't mean that in like a, a bad way, because there are good fan fictions, it just, it, I don't know, it didn't feel, it felt very shallow, it felt very, like, the only point of this is for gay love, um, which is fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not what, like, my original intention for the story was for it to be more like, psychological, I guess, for it to be more about Wolf figuring himself out. Maybe I can do, like, a little, a little swoop. But yeah, I, that was my original intention, so then when I was writing it, and it was, like, let, because the way that I write, I love description, I love, um, I don't, it's, like, I write in third person, mainly, um, I prefer to, 
and I like to use present tense. And the way that I wrote this book, it was about, it was first person from Wolf's perspective. And, sorry. It was from Wolf's perspective, and it's like, I was trying to write from the perspective of someone who has, like, anxiety, depression, um, abandonment issues, uh, commitment issues, a lot of, like, uh, relationship fears and worries and stuff. I tried to make a character, Wolf, have those feelings, but also be, like, not necessarily in denial, but kind of unaware of what was happening and kind of, like, dismissive of it, I guess. But the problem with writing first person with someone like that is you have to find out how to, like, hint, or not hint, like, let the audience know what's actually happening while also simultaneously being in denial because it's from a first person perspective. So that was kind of hard for me to do. Um, and he definitely, like, throughout what I had, he sounded very, like, he was a little flip-floppy. He was all over the place. He kept changing his voice. It just, it didn't sound, like, right. Um, so I didn't like that. Um, and there were also a lot of dialogues and scenes that felt kind of out of place, but I couldn't really pinpoint why exactly. And I, but at the time that I was editing it and going through it and being like, what don't I like about this? I had, because I, I, I was in this really boring class that was three hours long from like 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And so I started just bringing my computer and writing the whole time, um, which was great because I got to crank out like my novel, my novel, <laughs> my book, whatever. You know, I, I, I spent like a month, maybe more, just cranking out, cranking it out because I had it mostly done. I just had some final like scenes that I hadn't written yet. So it was great for cranking that out, but then as soon as I did, I was like, I just jumped into editing, um, which wasn't good because I, you know, I had just written like the last quarter of the book. So I was like, well, the, I just wrote all this. I can't edit all this. It's like, it's too fresh, you know? And if I'm looking at it, I, I, I've, I've looked at it too hard, right? So if I, if I keep looking at it, I, I can't tell if I don't like it because I don't like it, or if I don't like it because I've been looking at it for the past who knows how long. I decided to stop looking at it. I decided to take a break uh, from it for a year. <laughs> Didn't mean for it to be a year. But I decided to take a break from it until I kind of forgot the plot or I kind of forgot the things about it that I was like, I don't know about this. Um, and then just take a look at it again. Decided I just wanted to get a new, a fresh pair of eyes. So I, I did, I waited, and today, actually, I just decided to give it a look, and I have a better time, like, figuring stuff out if I talk it out, or if I talk to myself, as I do. So that's what I did. So what originally happened, and I, I won't, like, spoil anything, I don't know if it will ever matter at all, but, um... Uh, just in case, I won't. I won't give anything away. That's like a huge twist. A twist. It's not really a twist. There aren't really any twists. But um, anyway, yeah. So the basic idea is Wolf likes Michael. So the the original the original before I I have to change it. But as it is right now, um, Wolf likes Michael. He doesn't know that he likes Michael. Um, well, he does, but he's like he doesn't. You know, <laughs> like he acts like he likes him and he does deep down. He just hasn't acknowledged it or accepted it yet. Um, and he hangs out with him all the time. They, Michael plays baseball. That's kind of important to know. He's actually captain of his baseball team. Wolf goes to Ricky's bar to cry <laughs> and to like talk to Ricky. But him and Michael, Wolf and Michael really just see each other at Betts, which is a, um, a diner. It's actually Betty's Diner, but they call it Betts, or Michael calls it Betts. They have that, and they go to, um, the train tracks, the railroad tracks, uh, sometimes. And that's kind of, like, the only places that 
the story takes place is the tracks, bets, and the baseball field that Michael plays on. Well, the baseball field, you know what I mean. Um, baseball fields where he has his games. Um, and that's kind of it, like, straight up. Well, I guess Ricky is too, but Michael isn't there. But that that is it. It's just those four places. And so the original is that he, Wolf, likes Michael, but he's in denial, blah, blah, blah. Um, and the, he, at this baseball, god, I can't put my words together. At this baseball game, he meets Ashley, and Ashley is a rude person. <laughs> she is basically like, I like Michael, she likes Michael, and she's basically like, I, um, like him, and you need to stay away from him. So she's like, hey, if you don't stay away from Michael, I'm going to tell him that you have a crush on him. And then he's going to hate you. And he'll never speak to you again. And Wolf, like, freaks out. And the whole, the whole thing is just him being like, do I like Michael? What do I do? I don't know. Um, and then eventually at the end he does tell Michael, um, how he feels. And that's, like, without giving, like, major plot points away, that is the gist of the conflict and, like, how the story plays out. But, so I finished it, and I was like, you know what, this feels a little flat. Like, I don't really know, I don't like how, I don't like the voice that I have, but I kind of have to do it this way because it's a first person, blah, 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 blah. But my main thing I found is that I really don't like Wolf as a character. I mean, he just doesn't, he was very flat. He didn't have a lot going on. Like he had a backstory, traumatic backstory, but like he didn't grow from it. He didn't ever, he didn't ever address his like mental state, you know? Like he, he was always just, well, everything's fine. Everything's completely fine. Um, and I'm okay. I don't need therapy, <laughs> even though he did. Um, and there were some scenes that were really awkward, too, and some dialogue that I was like, I don't know if I like this. But really, I was just like, well, Wolf doesn't change. He's just static, and I don't like that. Like, he's the main character. He should be changing. So I decided, okay, we're going to do an overhaul. We are going to objectively look... Because I, I decided, like, what about different characters I wanted to change, if anything. Um, and then I was like, okay, if I am doing an overhaul, what plot-wise do I not like? So I broke it down into, I looked through it, and I was like, okay, what don't I like, and what, how am I going to change it? So I, and now, now the plot, well, not the plot. I mean, it, it, the plot is basically the same. It's the same, like, um, Ashley likes Michael, wants Wolf to stay away, and he kind of doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know if he should confess. He doesn't know uh, anything like that. Um, but I changed it so that the re the how he ends up getting blackmailed, basically, by Ashley is different. Um... And there, there are, like, key points in the story that are different, um, which I won't really go into as much. Um, but I was like, okay, in this version, the current version now, the only real reason that he's not telling Michael is because he is in denial about liking him. But I decided, you know what, I don't really like... I don't really like that he doesn't know. It feel it felt too um, jarring because he's in denial and he suddenly has this realization of you know what maybe maybe I do kind of like him a little bit. It just felt out of place. It felt sudden. It felt like it felt like it didn't have any development at all. Even though I, I hinted at it, it was still it didn't feel like enough. Um, so I decided okay we're not doing this um, anymore. 
Um, so I decided to change it so that Wolf knows that he likes Michael, he just doesn't, like, admit it to himself, you know? It's a very, um, subconscious, pushing it down, repressing kind of thing instead. Which is what I wanted from the beginning, I just didn't write it that way for some reason. Um, this arm is a little funky. I don't know what's happening here. I guess that's fine. What was I saying? I'm so tired, you have no idea. Um... What was I saying, dude? I don't even know, I like blacked out for two seconds. Yeah, so it felt, it felt flat, it felt sudden, uh, and I was like, this isn't, this isn't, I don't like this. So, I have it now where, uh, Ashley, because Ashley's trying to, like, get with Michael and trying to be, um, kind of trying to take over Wolf's life and cut him out of Michael's life. Um, and so I decided, hey, what if, to try and kind of escape the fact that he likes Michael, and to kind of have a reason to be, like, not talking to him as much, because Ashley's trying to make that happen, you know, and it's kind of weird for your best friend to just suddenly up and leave with no explanation. Um, so I thought, what if he, what if Wolf just kind of started dating a woman? What if he just pretended that he was into this girl, and then it would just be like, oh, well, you're dating someone right now, so of course you're gonna just up and leave. Um, so that is where the idea of Jen came in. I probably shouldn't put flowers all over her shirt because Michael's sister Jane has a little, like, tank top dress type thing with flowers on it, so it would feel a little weird to, um, do the exact same thing. Uh, anyway, so I was like, yeah, what if, what if Wolf just got a girlfriend? And so that's who Jen is, is Jen is going to be, um, Wolf's girlfriend for a brief time. She's not going to remain his boyfriend, remain his boyfriend. She's not going to remain his girlfriend because he's gay and he doesn't actually like her. Um, but that's, that's, it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, like, drastic change. Like, all the stuff that I'm doing, I'm, like altering the timeline, you know? So it, it's it's a pretty drastic move. And I guess if you guys have any, like, because I'm fine, like, discussing certain things. I just don't know what um, you would be interested in or what you want to know more about. But if you, ha if you have any questions about my OCs or about um, the story or want to know anything else, you can always leave in the comments or anything, any questions that you have or anything like that, um, I would love to read that, and I'd love to answer your questions, I just, I don't, I don't know what questions people would have, you know, because I know, I know the story so well, so yeah, if you, if you have any questions, or you want to know more, or anything, feel free to comment something, but I, I do want to respond, because I love talking about my OCs, and I, I don't really get to talk about them with, like, anyone, so I'd be fine going into more detail, I just don't want to, like, overindulge, you know? <laughs> I don't want to give you way more information than you signed up for. But if you're interested, I'd be more than happy to to share. But yeah, so Jen, Jen is a new is a new addition to the fam. Sylvia was a new addition too. Won't go into that because that is actually uh something that I do want to keep a secret because I I do plan on finishing this and I do hope um to publish it, although I don't I don't think I'll publish it um as a book, I'll probably, or I mean, like, traditionally. I was thinking about making, like, a Kindle version, because I know that you can just kind of publish whatever on Amazon, um, and so I thought it might be kind of cool to have a, a Kindle version, because then it felt, well, I mean, also at the time, it was very, it felt very fan fiction-y to me, so it felt weird to just make a, a normal book. It just felt so disconnected from me and my writing style that I was like, I don't, I don't feel right calling this a novel. <laughs> because it doesn't feel like a novel to me. But yeah, I, I I thought it might be cool to have a do a Kindle because I was like, well, that's kind of a happy medium, you know? That's kind of like a... I'm 
putting it out there, but it's also not like a huge deal, but it, you know, I do plan on doing something with it when I'm done with it, like for real, um, after the revamp. Anyway, Sylvia, <laughs> Sylvia is important, so I won't mention her for that reason, but yeah, if there's any other like questions or, or even, it doesn't have to be about the story too. It can be about like the characters in general. If you have any thing to ask about them, I am always happy to answer because I love them so much. Um, but where we are right now, I still can't really decide if I like the blonde or the dark hair. I think I prefer the blonde. It just feels weird because Ashley's blonde too. I do kind of like this design though because this feels a bit more like cookie cutter. <laughs> like she looks like, I don't know, she looks like she would listen to alternative music and she looks like she wouldn't. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I like the clip. I like the kind of, I think I like the length that her hair is at. I like this short kind of bubbly feeling to it. I like this design. <laughs> it feels weird to just keep my first design though. Let me, let me, let me just draw her again. Hopefully it turns out better than the other one. Cause it, it definitely looking, I wrote down like all the major, um, plot points now for the different version for the new and improved um and looking at it i was like yeah this feels better this feels more um this feels deeper this feels more interesting this feels less empty the other one felt like a lot of empty space it didn't feel like it was 100 pages long i don't know how i got it that long because nothing really happened it was just like oh my god i am here's my life story but not really, here's just who I am and who some of the people in my life are. Um, and here's how we met and here's, now I'm going to this baseball game and now I'm going over here and now I'm going to bets and now I'm going to the tracks and now I'm going to bets and now I'm going to a baseball game and now I'm going to bets again. And it's, you know, it was, it was just a lot of the same kind of thing and it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't like boring, but it, it just, it felt like it was missing something. Um, but now with like the whole, with Jen being in it, it feels better. I just can't stop drawing her with this little tiny smile. I don't know what's wrong with me. And so I'm excited. And it, it seemed like, it seems like there's, the conflict is more genuine now. Cause like it, it made sense before in the current version or the old version, whatever. God, I'm so tired, dude. I don't even know. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, the conflict. Conflict felt fine before, but it feels like, it, it felt kind of sudden and didn't feel natural at all. So with Jen, I mean, it, I don't know why I'm saying with Jen, like she's the only thing that changed. Um, but she is a, she's a pretty major change. Yeah, the, the whole, the whole thing in general is, um, it made it feel a little more authentic, a little more like, I don't know, a little more natural. It, it just, it just feels, it just hits different, <laughs> basically. She's pretty basic, um, I mean, she's not like, like, she doesn't have an insane outfit, she's not like, got insane hair, because like I said, I want her to be cookie cutter, so it's not really like that interesting of a character design, but I, you know, I'm designing her, and this is, this is the process that I go through for um, characters. I usually, I just get, it's the same with art too, is I just, I don't really think about, um, I don't really think about what I'm doing or where I'm going with it. I just sort of like see an image in my head and then I'm like, I'm gonna try and replicate that. Um, and the degree to which I'm happy with it depends on how closely it matches what I saw in my head. Sometimes it's not as obvious. Sometimes I have to kind of mess around with it a little bit to be like, this is not really what I hoped. And sometimes it just comes out. I'm like, this is everything. And it's the same thing with OCs is I just sort of have an idea in my head. Wolf and Michael, I don't even know how that happened. Um, I was, I just, I remember with Michael, I was like, I want him to be kind of opposite to wolf in certain regards appearance wise but it's really i just see kind of an idea um and then just follow through with that idea so like when i thought about jen initially she had um 
brown hair when I was like, what if you got a girlfriend or like black hair? Then once I started thinking about it situationally, um, I was like, nah, she'd be, she'd be like cookie cutter, bro. She would be the most basic girl there, <laughs> there would ever be. Cause he's just like, oh, well she's like popular or she's whatever, or she's what I think straight men like. I don't know. She looks like Ashley. She looks like this. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's fine, but she'll probably be, she'll be more interesting than Ashley because Ashley is really just a terrible person and that's her only trait. <laughs> I just figure it out as I go along. This is not really a pose that I think she would make. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not a very, uh, it's kind of a, kind of a rock and roll kind of feel. I don't know what I'm saying, dude. Kind of basically keeping her outfit that I drew here, which is just a tank top just because I saw her in a tank top, so I drew her in a tank top, and she's just staying, she's just staying in it. She's just staying in the tank top. Ashley had a whole redesign too, like a pretty massive one. Well, not, not, uh, it was more of an outfit change, I guess. Cause Jim, his last name changed. Uh, I changed his last name for reasons, because his last name used to be Jones, and I was like, I am not associating that with this um this hand is not good <laughs> whatever uh it's just for the concept Ugh, her arm's too long but yeah i changed his name but like everyone stayed kind of the same like more or less ashley got a uh, outfit rehaul but kind of it i mean michael stayed exactly the same like genuinely i'm excited i think it's gonna turn out better i think i'm gonna be more pleased with it because i i am already just looking at it on paper. Um, cause I, I've, ever since I finished it, I felt kind of weird because I was like, well, I'm not pleased with it, but I really don't want to keep writing it right now, but I don't have anything else to like do with myself. I don't have any other stories. I don't have anyone I can hyper fixate on. So I've kind of been, well, I, I kind of started, uh, if, I don't know if you are familiar with Mariana and uh, Bellamy, the Soldier Poet King animation that I did, that's, uh, Mariana and Bellamy and Aurelia. But they, I kind of tried to get invested in them for a while, but I really only had them and I couldn't really figure out the story that I wanted. Oh, well, I guess before that came, um, Amaranth and Sirius and, uh, Melica and all them. Um, and that was kind of the thing that I tried for a while, and I, I really worked out the story first and then did the characters, and I was like, you know what, I don't really like this. Um, so it was a little too complicated, it was a little too mystery, and I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. So I, I couldn't do it, I scrapped it. Um, I liked Amaranth's, Amaranth's design, and that's kind of it. Yeah, that, that didn't really, it didn't capture me. And then I made, uh, Mariana and Bellamy uh, afterwards, and Aurelia. And I couldn't, I can't really figure out their story. I mean, I got some stuff down, um, but nothing really. So the only people I really have are Caleb and Orion. Fun fact about them is I had a dream. That's where they came from, is I had a dream about Orion and about Orion's backstory with his mother, but his mom dies. Um, and like the basic plot of that, I dreamt about. And I developed it kind of afterwards, but most of it really just came from my dream. So I, that's been kind of weird because it's like, well, I had the dream, but I, I, I don't know. Like Orion's backstory, uh, the rest of it, like what happens after his mom dies, that I brainstormed. And Caleb's backstory, I unfortunately brainstormed. He has a traumatic backstory that we don't need to talk about. But their like plot isn't timelined. Like I have a, this is the problem and this is how it gets fixed, but it's not like together enough for me to write. Um, so I haven't been writing that. And it's also like, it feels like a comic. Like it doesn't feel like a, a book. It feels like a comic, but I don't like comics. <laughs> I like comics. I just, it's really hard for me to make comics. I don't know why. And that's kind of all I have. So then I was like, well, I miss, I miss my boys. <laughs> That's why I decided to look back at it because I was just like, I don't have anything to do with my time. But we did it now and I feel much better. I like it a lot more. Um, so hopefully it turns out how I please. I've always been writing, like since before I can 
before I can remember. I've been drawing before I can remember. Um, but I've been writing for, like, ages. I've always really liked to write um, creatively. Took a creative writing class. Ooh. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I, I wrote creatively for, for another middle school class that I had, my English class. Um, I just really like it. I never really had a... Um, I used to write a lot of fan fiction, like way too much fan fiction. And one of the ideas that I have for a video uh, actually is reading my old fan fiction and like laughing at it because I did that once and it was so funny. But yeah, I've written a lot of fan fiction and stuff because I, I like characters and I like all that stuff and I, I hadn't really made my own characters probably until Wolf and Michael, honestly, which was, it must have been in high school. But yeah, I think I like this design. I like. I like the um, clip, I like the length of her hair, I like the bubbly kind of feeling. So that's what I'm going to stick with for now. But yeah, so this was designing her. Um, hopefully that was interesting. I kind of just like talked for a while, but I wanted to do kind of like a, a more chill, more laid back kind of talking video for a while. I just didn't know what to like do it on. I, try, I tried to do one once while I was designing a character, I just didn't really have much to say. Like I said, if you have any um, questions about any OCs, it doesn't have to be Wolf and Michael or their world. In the comments, you can say whatever and I will respond. Um, but yeah, this is Jen, and uh, hopefully you liked her, or liked watching me make her, I guess. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and for just being here in general. If you liked the video, you can like it if you want. Um, you can also subscribe if you want. My Instagram and my Redbubble are in the description. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will hopefully see you in another video. Goodbye.